live from Full Sail Studios, it's The Alex Show, with your host, Alex Lanzini. Hello and welcome to the best, finest new show Full Sail has to offer. This is The Alex Show, I am your host, Alex Lanzini. And we have some awesome stuff planned for you today. I'm so happy to see all of you guys here. We had a lot of fun, affordable, and exciting places and events that any money strapped full sale student can spend time, enjoy when class is out and homework is all finished. Like that ever happens. But anyway, we'll check out the first one, which we're gonna go to our Wonder Woman on the field, Valentina, to see what she's got at Lake Wakiwa. Hello and welcome to N Square, where we'll be discussing all of the latest entertainment news that's fit to print. Let's get going. Unfortunately, we have to start off on a little bit of the somber news. Uh, uh, Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul, passed away yesterday. Uh, she died at her home in Detroit, uh, surrounded by her friends and family around 9.50 a.m. The cause of death has been ruled as pancreatic, advanced pancreatic cancer, which Aretha dealt with for quite some time. She was an inspiration to and influence to many modern musicians and to us all, and she was the first woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Nothing but respect to the queen. May she rest in peace. Moving on to the topic of preserving video games, uh, Twitter user Android Sophia first brought up the topic of video game preservation, saying that, quote unquote, it's staggering how much of video game history is not preserved. Let's put it into the numbers. There are 721 North American SNES games at Super Nintendo. Before the Wii Store shut down, only a meager 74 titles were preserved on that virtual console. And now that the Wii has shut down and the Wii U Store is the only one, that number is only 51. The user goes on to say that roughly 10% of SNES games are preserved in any form, which is very sad to see that art form be lost. Moving on to some movie news, Idris Elba is in the news as rumors circulate about the possibility of his role as our next James Bond. The actor has long been subject to multiple theories concerning the iconic franchise and the role. The rumor started when, according to a story by the Daily Star with, with director Antoine Fuqua, Bond producer Barbara Bacoli believes that it is time for some diversity to be added into the franchise. Fuqua also left open the possibility of Elba appearing in the film, and Elba hinted at it himself with a tweet on his Twitter wall. I definitely think he would make a great choice. Continuing with movies, Jordan Vogt Roberts has been celebrating the 31st anniversary of Hideo Kojima's award-winning franchise, Metal Gear. He, was taken, he has taken to Twitter and Instagram to post a few of the concept darts that he has for the movie, and it looks very promising. Roberts has also recently said in regards to the script, quote unquote, it is one of the weirdest, coolest, most Kojima things I've ever read, which is definitely what we want to hear. If anyone could do a video game movie, it would be him. Uh, we're going to take a short break to hear some from one of our sponsors, and when we come back, we're going to dive right back into the news, and then later on, we'll join on the couch for some in-depth discussion. Let's take a look. Welcome back. Continuing with the news, we have some news with Star Trek going on. Patrick Stewart will be returning to the Enterprise as Captain Jean-Luc Picard, which was announced at a Star Trek convention in Las Vegas by Stewart himself that he would be returning to the titular role. Stewart said, quote unquote, I feel I am ready to return to him for the same reason, to research and experience what comforting and reforming light that he might shine on these often very dark times. And we definitely looking, look forward to engaging in more of Picard's adventures soon. The Oscars have been in the news recently as the organization behind the Academy Awards announced the other day that they will be adding a category for blockbuster films as well as shortening the length of the program by giving away some of the statues during the commercial breaks. The new category will hopefully add a chance for big budget film releases to have a shot at the awards several feel they deserve, while the shorter time length will aid in shortening Hollywood's award season, which currently extends through four months, and it'll also hopefully uh, dispel some of the spoilers. After the break, we're gonna come back with my partner in crime on the couch to discuss some of the topics further and get really in depth to the news. Stay tuned. Welcome back to N Squared. I'm here with the mad Dan himself, Daniel Scott. How's it going? Thank you, man? thank you. How you doing, man? Doing well, doing well. What I'm, about you? I'm good, I'm good. Hanging nice, in there, nice. man. Thank right. you for having me. Excited to get into some of this news that we had to talk yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I heard some stuff. interesting stuff in there I wanted to elaborate on a little bit. Right, you know, uh, well, we talked about Carrie Fisher. Carrie she's Fisher. Coming, she's coming back to Star Wars, uh, despite her, her Carrie Fisher's death. Well, yeah, obviously yeah, last year she passed away. But she's going to come back through unreleased footage. That's exciting. You know, I'd love mm -hmm. to see her uh, back on 
on the big screen, you know, and uh, uh, hopefully yeah. Star Wars or, you know, George Lucas can send her off the right way. I, I hope so. I, I, I think it would be a good point for, for her to end. I think, yeah. you know, she's, she's been in all, she'll be the only one, really, to be in all nine movies at this point. I never even thought that of that. Best. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, I guess, I guess, well, I'll take that back. She wasn't in the first three. She wasn't in the one, two, or three, but she was in the the the, the six. Oh uh, yeah, 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 from, yeah. From okay, the original I got what Star you're saying. Wars, so I got what you're saying. Yeah. I, my bad, but she is. She's one of the characters yeah. that's only been. She's been in it very long. She's been a titular character for them. Yeah. Uh, and it, she has to be sent off the right way. I'm I'm glad that they brought her back and didn't kill her off in between the movies in like a credit scene. Yeah. You know, I feel like that's yeah. disrespectful. But it'll be interesting to see how they do it. Yeah, know? yeah, I'm sure. I mean, we have the technology now true. to do stuff yeah. like this, so um, it'd be it'd be pretty cool to you know pay a little homage to her, send her off the right way I, again, I and so. then uh, you know then move on with our lives. Oh yeah, yeah put it to rest. She's great. Talk, talk about like one of my favorite crushes. Oh yeah, crushes, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the famous Jabba the Hutt scene, right? And the oh. gold bikini and all that stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> and. And talk, talk, speaking of crushes, your crush, or at least someone you like very much, Ruby Rose. Love me some Ruby Rose. She man. is going to be Batwoman now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Batwoman. Uh, um, on the CW, right? Yeah, CW, really? I think is what she's going to. She's going to think her char character starts in Arrow and their crossover, and then her show will spin oh, off from that. Oh, okay. That's how they're going to pull. I thought she was like, I didn't really know. I don't know too much about Arrow. I haven't so. watched it in seasons. I think I stopped watching mm. after season three, so I don't know what much about what's going on, but I think that's just what I've heard, is that they're going to do a crossover, and then she'll appear, and then her character will get her own show hmm. after that. Maybe I need to catch up with some Arrow so I can follow the... Yeah, yeah, the, I may have to. I don't know. It's The Batwoman. Yeah, and the way I talk, it's going to be a, a darker show, too. It's going to be kind of a grittier Ooh, take on it. That'd be exciting. So I, I look yeah. forward to seeing it. Of course, not everyone's looking forward to seeing yeah, it. Yeah, I saw some terrible things online. Oh, yeah. she, she deleted her Twitter account. Did she? Yeah. Man. All the backlash they got. got to her, man. I know. Which they is, probably just wanted to calm the noise a little bit and just, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't too much. I'm sure she can handle the backlash. Yeah. But it's, it's still a sad day when, like, somebody tw deletes their Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Essentially bullying, I guess yeah, that's what I would call yeah. it. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. I mean, they, you got, like, thousands of people just attacking your, yeah. your you know, your persona. And, and I mean, it, like, it doesn't even matter if, if, like, people say she's not the right choice. She's not mm. Jewish. She's not lesbian enough or whatever, which I think To me, that lie. both of those claims are insane but, to me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But, I mean, can you blame her for taking the role? I mean, if you got offered the role as Batman, would you take oh, her yeah. down, you know? Oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I mean, they absolutely. could offer me the role of Batwoman. I'd be like, yeah, I'll be uh, Batwoman. I'm, if I'm an actor and, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm portray something that I'm not, I mean, that's kind of the definition that's, of acting. That's, that's what you want to do, you yeah. know? Yeah, I, I'm really surprised that uh, yeah. the fans are reacting to that yeah it's it's there's, there's such a toxicity in, in yeah. some some of the fan bases that's really hard everybody's a, a casting director nowadays oh, or yeah. a critic Every, or everyone's a critic yeah. everyone has their own review that they want to post yeah. afterwards uh, I think she's I think she, from what I've seen of her I think she's a good choice I think she would be perfect I yeah. I think she's a very talented actor yeah. or actress sorry yeah. and I think it'd be great to see her in the role yeah um, and you know Ruby Rose right nice I know and uh, less than stellar news, James Gunn, uh, we know, well, recently backed away. He was fired from Guardians of the Galaxy 3 because of some really? tweets that she said, or he said. Uh, I, I didn't know that he got fired. I knew that there was he, some controversy around He was, it, it was essentially the same day they found out about the tweets, Disney straight up said you're fired. Wow. And that you can't work here. Um, and so which got a lot of backlash towards Disney. Uh, Petitions were signed. The entire cast wrote a letter saying that they thought he was a great guy. Well, wasn't this like the, these tweets like years ago? Like you oh know, yeah, it was. I think it was like 2009, something like wow. that. Wow. So and it like, was, they like dug him up and like, yeah, I can't. Remember. I think something along the lines of he got into an argument with someone on Twitter and someone dug up his tweets and said, well, at least I'm not a pedophile. Wow. Which were some of the jokes that he made at that time. Yeah. And so Disney let him go. Uh, Hmm. Which they and the, he had a meeting. He did have a meeting with them recently to see about being reinstated. And Disney has stood by what they said that he will not come back mm. to direct the last movie. Mm. Yeah, I, I get it from the Disney standpoint. You know, you can't mm -hmm. be seen as an organization or a company that endorses pedophilia. Yeah, so. obviously, no, no one wants to be called no, endorsing yeah, pedophilia. Yeah, especially not Disney. Like yeah. when you got like thousands, fucking hundreds of thousands of kids mm -hmm. coming I mean, to your theme parks every yeah, year, and you know, you to know. be the. It's, and I understand it's hard for them. I, th I think they acted a little too soon on it mm. uh, instead of it, but it's it's what it is. I think if DC's smart, they'll scoop up Gunn. Yeah. 
make him direct one of their movies, but we, who knows, like, you know. We're in a day and age where they can, <laughs> they can archive make, your tweets and then oh, use it yeah. against you yeah. in the future. Wow, that's interesting. It's, it's, gonna, it's interesting to see what they're doing now. It's social media is having such an effect on everything, yeah. you know, entertainment yeah. in general. Maybe every couple of years I should create a new account. That's exactly what you do. <laughs> I can't dig up nothing for me. Oh you know? yeah, you just you just make make dummy accounts, yeah, dummy dumb, accounts. Yeah. That's what we'll have. So That's then, what Kevin Durant did, by the oh, way. Oh really? Yeah. Interesting man. He, he was caught d defending himself from another account. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, like. That's crazy, man. Yeah. I, well, we are unfortunately out of time. I, I hope Excellent. we get you back yeah, in. We yeah. can talk more stuff. I yeah. love having you here. Yes, please, uh, please. Super fun. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit to Soliloquy, where I'm going to make a flaw to myself, like I do every day. Uh, stick around for that. Daniel, again, thank you so much. Love to have you. Thanks for having me. We'll see you back in a bit. That's our show. I'm your host, Alex Zanzini. I loved having all of you here. Thank you for uh, having all the fun. Hope you found some cool new stuff. We'll see you next time. Signing off. Laters. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to The Alex Show. Have a good evening.